name's Mario Mahani. And this week's aqua tip, we're using the belt we're in a suspended environment. And we're going to do a frog kick. Yeah. So the classic frog kick that we often use for breaststroke and arms. But I'm going to change it up this week because I'm sure that we've all done this a million times. And I love this exercise. It's such a good one for your inner thighs. And you know, when you do it correctly, the whole body should be moving up and down. So this needs to be a bit of force there between the legs. So what's the variation? Here we go. So we're going to do a frog kick here, bring it up to horizontal, four. And now bring the legs back down again. My goodness. Making sure that your feet come together each time. Bring the legs back up to horizontal again. Bring the legs back down again. I'll show you side on. Whoa. Goodness. Again. Ooh. All right, tough, that's hard, so much harder than just doing a classic frog kick towards the front. Oh. You could definitely use that for interval training, really effective, you could tell them four frog kicks to get up, four frog kicks to get down. My arms are rooted, so are my legs, and my heart rate's way up, such a good exercise. Okay, key tips. Make sure that feet come together. Yep, I do arms as big as my legs. Yep, so arms as big as my legs, and then you're opening out in front, and then bring your feet down, but always try and bring your feet together, because it's actually really easy not to do that, to like bring your feet towards each other, but not actually touch, and you're missing out on the great leg workout that's involved in that. So make sure the feet are coming together, and that they're aware that they need to do that and you've got these massive arms that move along with your legs, so they go up and down with your legs too. And that's this week's aqua tip. Demonstrating the frog kick moving from vertical to horizontal is not easy. In fact, you sort of need almost the frame and a chair or the chair and the floor. So I'll demonstrate both options. So if you're using the frame, you get yourself up so that you're on your hands and you demonstrate the frog kick supporting yourself up on your hands. So I'm lucky, I'm reasonably short, and so therefore when I lift myself up, my feet clear the floor. But with most of the upper frames, you can actually lift the side of the frame up a little higher so that you can lift yourself up a little higher. But the idea is that you lift your knees up, spread your legs out, and you snap, in, out, snap, in, out, snap. And then you've got the arms doing the same sort of motion. So demonstrating the movement, I like to use the frame and a chair. So I'll demonstrate the frog kick, bring your legs up, and if I can, then quickly transfer, lift up to horizontal. Now start to bring your legs back down again, back down again, lift the knees up high. So I'm moving and talking and using my arms for when my legs are transferring. So I'll just demonstrate that again. So I talk about lifting the knees up high, big frog kick, Using your arms, slowly bring your legs back up, lift it to horizontal, so lift your knees up high, now bring your legs towards the bottom of the pool again, keep the arms moving, knees up high and legs down. It's quite an energetic demonstration, yeah, and you have to use your abdominals a lot. Remember, when you demonstrate, if you demonstrate well, you just need to coach after that. If you demonstrate poorly, you'll see different interpretations of what you want them to do and that can be a little bit frustrating. So if you're doing it from the chair to the floor, I'll often do it, say, from standing. So I'm here, knees up, and then bring the legs up. So you can do it if you've got a bench, you can lean back and then bring the legs back down again. If you don't have a bench, it's a bit hard to do that maybe, and on a chair, because it might tip over, not sure. But you can go like this, and then slowly bring your legs up, horizontal, bring your legs back down again, down again, down again. It's not as clean, it's not as tidy, but you do what you can, right? Remember the black line, and that should be snapping the legs together, and I like to use a cut to really demonstrate the snapping action, and also those big arms, so overly exaggerating and demonstrating on full deck. And that's this week's 